Hi, welcome to Acupressure 101. I chose a point today specific for the lung tissue. And I did that because of all of our fears around how COVID-19 is in fact affecting our lungs. The point that I chose is the 10th point on the lung meridian. I do not speak Mandarin and I'm not going to hurt your ears with trying to pronounce any of these points. So I'm going to say them in English. It's lung 10, 10th point on the lung meridian. It is also known as a fire point and fire um, indicates heat, right? So I chose this point because I wanted to help you all be able to utilize clearing some of the excess heat that might be sitting in your lung tissue. We're also going into the springtime and those of you also might be worried if you have a sniffle, if you have a sore throat, if you get a little lung congestion, a little sinus infection, which sometimes comes with people that have sinus issues on a seasonal basis. Um, it's a way for you to have a little comfort and maybe disseminate some of that coughing that comes with um, either post nasal drip and so on. So we're gonna find lung 10 and it's in actually your hand. So you are gonna go to your thumb, okay? You're gonna find the base of the thumb. You're gonna find the wrist crease. Halfway between the two, you're gonna see this mound of muscle tissue. It's called the thenar eminence. You're gonna find this bone here and you're going to go in to the fleshy part you're gonna see if you can almost tack the muscle down to the bone. You're gonna take thumb on the opposite hand and you are going to massage it as deeply as you can. If it's tender, it's usually indicative of there's a little excess energy that's trapped. Uh, the fascia could be very tight in there. And we're basically trying to move some of that stagnancy out of that tissue or out of that acupuncture point. There's also the same point on the opposite hand. So again, find that bone, find the base of the wrist crease, come halfway, fall into that fleshy part there, that thenar eminence, take your thumb on the opposite side and rub it. You'll notice that as you start rubbing, either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, you might feel that it becomes a little less sensitive. That means that you're starting to dissipate some of the stuck energy that's in that particular acupuncture point. And you might wanna combine a breathing technique with it to make it a little less sensitive, but it's also going to alert the lungs by way of the lung channel that you wanna hit the reset button. And I think we're all kind of doing that right now, hitting some sort of reset button. So in a way, maybe this point is really good for all of us. Lung 10, make it happen. You got this, thumbs up. Also, for those of you that are like this all the time, we used to call it blackberry thumb. I'm totally dating myself right now because most millennials, I don't think would know a blackberry. Anyway, texting thumb. This muscle is the muscle that becomes overactive. So again, if you have any sort of what you're diagnosing as carpal tunnel, it might just be overuse of that particular muscle. I just put my PT hat on for you. So you might wanna just stretch it out, massage it out. So it's like a twofer. Have a great day.